William S. Burroughs once said, after all, there are no innocent bystanders. This quote speaks directly to the heart of bullying. It reminds us that when we witness bullying and do nothing, we're complicit. There are no passive onlookers in situations of harm. We all play a role, whether we realize it or not. Bullying is not just about the person being targeted or the person doing the harm. It's also about those who stand by and watch. When we ignore bullying, we give it space to grow. When we stay silent, we allow the victim to feel even more isolated. Silence, in these cases, is powerful. It validates the bully's actions and deepens the pain for the victim. By choosing not to act, bystanders become part of the problem, not the solution. So why don't we intervene more? Fear of being targeted ourselves, discomfort, or simply not knowing what to do can hold us back. But we need to recognize that being a passive observer has its own consequences. If we allow bully to persist, we allow the normalization of cruelty and harm in our communities. And as Burroughs quote suggests, there is no true innocence in watching suffering unfold and doing nothing about it. Bullying shows up in many environments, school hallways, online, even within our local communities. And each setting brings its own, its own unique challenges. In schools, it's often easier to see and intervene in physical or verbal bullying. However, online bullying is more insidious. Behind screens, people often feel emboldened to say things they would never say in person, believing their actions are invisible. But the impact is just as devastating, if not more. Because there is no escape, social media is always with us. The idea that there are no innocent bystanders becomes especially important online, where it's easier to scroll past hurtful comments or cruel posts without saying a word. Online, we may feel less even um, responsibility to act, but that anonymity doesn't erase the fact that real people are being harmed. How do we change this? It starts with understanding that doing nothing isn't an option. Whether in the classroom, in an online space, or in the community, we must step up. This doesn't always mean confronting the bully directly. Sometimes it's as simple as offering support to the victim, reporting the behavior, or raising awareness. Being an ally means showing the cruelty and exclusion will not be tolerated in our spaces. We all have the power to influence the social environment around us, and it's time to use that power for good. We need to create communities where kindness, respect, and inclusivity are the norms. Ultimately, we can no longer pretend that standing by is neutral. We're all involved. As Burroughs pointed out, there are no innocent bystanders. Let's choose to be upstanders. People will actively stand against bullying in all its forms. Whether in school, online, or in the wider community, we can all make a difference. Thank you.